Hey guys, Tom Helwig here and finally we're back in the Netherlands. We have survived the journey. It's been one hell of a journey. Emigrating with a newborn, I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, we're here in the lovely city of Den Bosch, in our new home. Huh? I'm all ready to make some more new videos and today we're gonna do a great song, especially for your electric guitar. I'm gonna show you how to play Apache by the Shadows. So much fun to play this song, especially this. The whole song is actually very, very easy, except for this nasty little part right there. But we'll get to that in a minute. Let's first start with the intro. First, the notes. Not too difficult. But of course, that trademark sound you hear on the record is Hank Marvin using his tremolo or whammy bar. And if you don't have one, you're just gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way by making a bend and doing a vibrato with a left hand. Nothing wrong with that, but if you have one on your guitar, you do want to use it for this song. Now, in order to do the bend, you just slightly tilt up and release the tremolo. Very delicate, subtle effect. And maybe do a little vibrato back and forth. It sounds actually a little bit different than using the fingers. And notice also, I hold the guitar pick with my index finger and thumb, eh, as always, and the other three fingers are holding the tremolo, like this. Here's the entire intro. So much fun to play this part, and also one of the most recognizable guitar intros probably ever recorded. Now on to the main theme, very simple notes. Now notice he doesn't just use the index finger, which would be easier. And that's because he doesn't want to hear those two notes together. Rather, he wants to hear those notes separately. It's a little bit different. And then, of course, add the Hank Marvin tremolo effect. Now, it's important to note, he doesn't use it all the time. This would be wrong. It's too much. Rather, you want to use it like you would sing the melody. Dun 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 dun. So it's three occasions where you really want to use the tremolo. And of course, then the same melody higher up. Same thing. Don't just play those two notes together. We have to separate the notes, remember? Only want to hear one note at a time, so press down one finger while gently lifting off the other finger. Back and forth. And back to the beginning. And up until now, you're probably thinking, what an incredibly easy song. Maybe a little bit difficult because of the tremolo, but otherwise, piece of cake, right? Well, yeah, up until now, because here is where we get the... If it 
it wasn't for that little nasty lick, this song would have been perfect for beginners, but as it is, this is a bit tricky. Now, it is doable, all you need is the right technique for the right hand. The left hand, yeah, that's fairly easy, just two notes. You can even keep them on the fretboard together in this case. Very simple. It's all about the correct order of the picking, which should be down, down, up, down, down, up. <laughs> has to be 100% exactly like that. Then, see if you can mute the bottom strings with the palm of your right hand. That's it. See if you can do it a couple of times in a row. And you'll notice, if you're gonna play an accent on the first and second beat, it's actually a little bit more easier, so try to do that. helps you stay in the saddle, so to speak, when you're gonna play it faster. Those accents are important. Well, here we go, faster. The last key is to play it fast. Remember, if you're gonna play fast, keep everything loose and relaxed. You hear the accents? One, two, those accents are important. That's it, there you go. Here's the main theme. one lick that creates this image of riding a horse, it has to be. <laughs> Beautifully done. Onto the bridge, we start with the F major. And of course, use that tremolo effect. And by the way, you create that vibrato not by pressing down the tremolo, but rather by tilting up. So it's... Remember, only on the long, open notes. <laughs> Love this ending. Here's the entire bridge. we need to learn. It's again the main theme, but this time he plays it slightly different. First, the notes are at a different spot on the fretboard. Also, the notes are slightly different than before. And then he adds that horse riding rhythm with the melody. That makes... Notice I do play those accents all the time. Each time that accent, that is so very important. And then of course, you have to do it higher also. Eh? So you really need to master this. The rhythm, you need to be able to play it anywhere on the fretboard. A good exercise is just to randomly Pick a note and see if you can play it, and so 
want. Here's the main theme the second time around. <laughs> love that A minor at the end. Don't you just love a guitar with lots of reverb, A minor, and a tremolo? That certainly has a distinct feel. Now, good news. These are all the parts you need to learn in order to play the entire song. And let's face it, it's very much doable, except for the nasty little lick. If you have trouble with that lick, just go over a little checklist. First of all, do you have the correct pattern? Down, down, up, down, down, up. If you do, do you play the accents? And just remember overall, it's a rule of thumb. If you're gonna play fast, the tendency is to freeze up and get all tense-like and you want everything loose. So you need to make a conscious effort to keep everything as loose and relaxed as you can. And then, find it's very much doable. Now don't forget you can go to my Patreon page to find the full taps and uh, the backing track. Let's see if we can play the basic parts together. Get your guitar, 